Yo, what it do, y'all? We are back with some NBA 2K22 Next Gen on the Xbox. And I must say, this is probably the most fun I've had on 2K in years within the first week. Um, I played on, I do something I never do. I played online the first day that I made my build, which I never do. I usually wait like a week because there's always bugs and stuff happening. But this year, the, the launch was fairly good. Um, defense feels good in this game. You can actually score inside with your big, um, you know, it's just, it feels good. Like this is probably the most excited I've been to actually play and grind my player in 2K in years. So this will be my first build. I have two builds, so this is my center build. I pretty much just made a low post defensive anchor that can shoot the mid range and I'll kind of explain some of my attributes in a second and then we'll get into some gameplay and I'll show you how many badges I've grinded so far just so you can kind of see how the game plays online but as I said I am playing on next gen Xbox Series S so center I'm left handed 50 is my favorite number so we went 7 foot 241 and 710 wingspan so max wingspan so to the stats I already have all my stats pre because I had to kind of make this remember how I made this build. So we'll start with finishing. I went with 90 close shot, 73 layup, 75 driving dunk so I can get contact, big, big man contact dunks, 90 standing dunk. That's the minimum that you need to get elite standing dunks and then 89 post control uh, shooting. I decided to go with mid range on this build. I could have, if I would have maxed out my three, I think his three maxes out at 73 or 74, which I actually have seen people hit with. I just figured I'd do mid range. Like this, like I said, this build is just inside defensive anchor. I'm, I don't plan on being too much around the outside and 80 mid range is well more than enough to hit mid ranges reliably wide open. And then once you get blinders as well, uh, 86 free throw, I mean, free throw pr pretty much costs nothing to upgrade, so I would at least have it as an 80. Playmaking, um, I really wanted to put more playmaking into this build, but just the way I wanted to have it as a defensive anchor, this is kind of what I came up with. So 73 pass accuracy, 45 ball handling. This isn't really for dribbling. This is just to help me not get the ball stolen from me as much, which 45 is still very low compared to like smaller builds. So hopefully this will help a little bit. Uh, all my big men, you'll be happy to know, interior defense doesn't cost as much as last year to upgrade. So this is fairly, fairly small to upgrade. But 96 interior defense, 59 perimeter defense. I really wish I could have got this higher, but I'm seven foot. So I'm, I already know if I'm on the perimeter, I'm going to be at a disadvantage. And I have played games where like I got switched onto a guard or I had to match up against a sh shooting guard or a small forward. And I pretty much just get cooked. But I mean, it's understandable. There's some gives and takes you're going to have when you have a seven foot build uh 70 still so i do get silver interceptor 99 block 95 offensive rebound and 99 rebound so 40 is the maximum number of badge points that you can get defensively and i pretty much was able to max out and get all the badges that i wanted hall of fame like re uh, rebound chaser uh rim protector intimidator those are really the main three and then brick wall i really am excited to test out brick wall hall of fame because i have it right now on bronze and you set some pretty you you get people open with bronze brick wall so i'm interested to see if with hall of fame do you get knocked down animations like you had in years past and then as far as my physicals 65 speed 61 acceleration 83 strength 78 vertical 95 stamina pretty much just maxed all of these out as i said i really want to see what strength helps with as far as bodying people up um pushing people out the way see if it helps with that and then 65 speed is respectable it's it's still slow but compared to past years 65 is actually a really good speed for a seven foot center and then as far as my takeover is i chose box out wall and pain intimidator i mean you can get the the mamba mentality badge fairly easy this year so you can you know mix uh, change these out and these are the ones you could change them out for post ups and things like that so then you finish the build and you get yourself a versatile paint beast which is ironic because versatile was once my music name back in the old olden days so yeah uh this is my build for now we're gonna hop into some games i'll show y'all the current badges that i have in my current badge setup and we'll probably hop into uh those 3v3 random no squad mode and then play a couple of games of that and then we'll see how things go all right so here are my current attributes at the time of this recording 84 overall 
haven't really maxed out too much except for rebounding all my physicals. I always max out my physicals on my, my on my my player first. That just seems like the good thing to do to know how your player is going to move and feel. Uh, max out my dunking, driving, and standing so I can get the contact animations and all the dunks. Next, she has the rest of the uh, rest of the attributes I have as well. Um, I've actually been hitting pretty well with 70 mid range. I'm using Kevin, not Kevin Loves, uh, Brooke Lopez's Brooke Lopez's jump shot as of now until I find something more comfortable or more better for big man. But his jump shot has been pretty good for me. As far as my badges, um, with the finishing badges, I have eight out of 33. As I said, I went to Gonzaga, got the college, got the additional badges, and just got done with the G League before this recording. Um, as of now, I'm running back down Punisher, drop stepper on silver, and then mouse in the house, uh, post spin, unstrippable, and grace under pressure on bronze. I'm testing these out because I feel like with a taller player, grace under pressure and mouse in the house, especially with uh, gold, uh, will be very well for helping you score near the basket. As far as shooting goes, I only have one shooting badge, so I got blinders. Playmaking, I have break starter, bullet pass, and post playmaking all on bronze. And then on defense, I'm just kind of spreading badges around until I kind of get like half my badges, and then I'll start upgrading them to silver and gold. But chase down, interceptor, rebound chaser, worm, rim protector, pogo stick, intimidator, box, and brick wall are all the ones that I got now. So these are the badges that I'll be taking online. Let's play a few games. We're going to do the 3v3 in the warehouse. You know, no squads, just random teammates, and hopefully we can get us some Ws. Oh, yeah, two-way threat, two-way inside score, off to that. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so here's kind of the good and bad thing about this mode that I like. So it's random. So, you know, no teams. You don't, like, get squads of three unless they kind of queue at the same time and somehow get matched together. Also, a good thing is sometimes you can get matched against all guards. So right now, we're either playing all guards or two guards and a forward, but we're playing all smalls. Yeet. <clears throat> Thought I would have got that. My bad. Um, so that's cool. Uh, the only thing is now I got to guard somebody on the wing. Am I? Easy deuces. Appreciate the pass. And as y'all saw, my perimeter defense is like a 59. So on this build, I already know I'm going to have to play a lot more careful when guarding the perimeter. Tuh, you thought. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, like, come on. I know I'm a center. I know I can't move that well on the off, on, on the outside, but don't don't disrespect me like that. I see you. Splash time. Don't be messing up my assist. I appreciate that. You got to start under you got to start under you for for a reason, bro. I don't I don't really know what that is, but See you there? Oh, look at the vision. Yo, yo, they don't call me an Avenger for nothing. Y'all see the vision. That's actually a very bad pun because because vision kind of got messed up in end game, but you know that's neither here nor there. That's actually not what I want to do. I tried to do a fade, but that's fine. I can just shoot over him all game. See, that's what I love about this. Last year in 2K, if somebody had Intimidator, which I'm not sure if he has Intimidator or any of his badges, I would probably miss that. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Pass that back out. Ooh, you shot that? Got you. Money ball. Mm, I love it. Love it. I love it. Um, most people just want to score, which is understandable. I mean, considering how old I am in the NBA, I grew up watching in the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm more of an old head. I, I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but granted, yeah, I started watching basketball. Ooh, I could have blocked that. I started watching basketball around 90. It was like a year. It was probably like a year when Dirk got drafted, like 95, 96, when I was like five or six years old. It's when I started like actually following basketball or at least like understanding what it was. I started getting into it like 2000, 2001. But uh, yeah, I've always kind of had that mindset. It's like, look, I'm going to lock down everything on defense. I'm going to grab every rebound. I'm going to swat every shot that comes in my paint. And I'll let pe other people score. Like, plenty of people want to score in this game. Cool. I can score if I want to. I got a message from somebody. GG's. Oh, appreciate it, my G. GG's. Look at that. Positive. Oh, shit. Hold on. GG's.
Uh, whatever, he knows what I meant. There we go. Positive reinforcement. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. It looks like I may be going up against another small. Actually, no, he may be a big. He kind of dripped out, though. I don't know. You got you got to watch these people who, who be dripped out early in the game. Playmaking glass cleaner. Level 17. Jeebus. This is, uh, this is not going to be fun. I see you. Easy buck. It's all right. Oh no, that's that's uh, not your man, buddy. All right. I'm just gonna assume that this person can shoot. Yep. Bro, look out. See, that's uh. Ooh. Okay. Uh. See, that's why this is this is more of a wreck build. I'll go ahead and say this. If y'all. That mess out my paint. I mean, I didn't block it, but you know. Hello? With my unstrippable badge on? Mm. Oh! I'm a little bit salty about that. This is. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I haven't really practiced the, the aggressive dunk stick yet, or whatever it's called. Ooh, that was a good look. I got you. Money ball. Or not. I lied. That was late. That was aggressively late. No, nah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right. I need to reach like that. But I was there. I was there. Y'all saw. I was there. Damn, it's difficult because if I make one wrong move, it's like over for me. Oh man, see, I'm not really tripping though because this isn't really my park build. Ooh. This is uh, this is more of my wreck build. I was about to say, I better not miss that. Good help, D. Good three. Okay. If I can play a, a tad bit of defense, this player making glass cleaner, who I'm assuming is a like six and nine. <sighs> uh, I tried. GG's. Yeah. As I said, this isn't necessarily a park build. <laughs> this is uh, this is definitely a wreck build because y'all saw I was out there getting just torched on the on the perimeter. But it's fine. I'm gonna have two builds. I'm gonna have this build at least two to start out with. I'm gonna have this build, and then I'm gonna have my power forward build, who will basically be like a three and D wing just in a power forward frame. So I'll definitely have a lot more better defense on the perimeter on that one but yeah with this one this one this one's gonna be a struggle so yeah hopefully next time i can like get some some uh oh lord what did i do am seven seven four three, five can't really can't really do too much about that uh hopefully next time I'll, I'll probably do some some rec gameplay to get a more accurate description of what a taller center will be but yeah this definitely i, I do not advise this build for park as y'all can see you just gonna get like dribbled out especially now you can still make like smaller power forwards and centers that can decently dribble or at least get like 80 ball handling to get some pro dribble moves but that is going to be it for today's video I do appreciate y'all watching y'all leave me some comments below what builds are y'all making this year what builds do y'all think are going to be the meta that everybody's going to be making but i do appreciate y'all for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe it's your man mike titan and i'm out this piece gone